If you're planning to launch a WordPress site and you don't have a lot of knowledge, I highly recommend that you grab a managed hosting plan. You'll get 24-7, 365 days a year support to help you with issues that you might have on your WordPress site. Now, these guys will have a 45 second or less response time. So it really gives you that calm of having that backup when you launch a WordPress site. It's called Rapid Cloud, and let me show you the benefits that you're gonna get with them and how to launch a WordPress site super easily on their panel. So let's get started. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to launch a WordPress site, and we're gonna talk about Rapid Cloud and what you can expect from them. Now, be aware that this is not shared hosting. This is managed hosting. With shared hosting, you have super limited support, and most of the time, they'll just tell you that you gotta fix that with some developer. With managed hosting, things are different. You have 24 seven support and 365 days a year support. So let me show you what you're gonna expect with managed hosting. First of all, you're gonna get a lot of solutions and bundled inside of this hosting plan without additional payments. You'll get Komodo Web Application Firewall bundled into this. You'll have a dynamic platform with your details to update plugins, manage them, roll back, uh, fix issues, and you also get free object tag with this, and that says it's $95 a month, but that's not what you're going to be paying because that's gonna be bundled inside of your hosting plan here on Rapid Cloud Managed Hosting. You're gonna get CDN, Performance Boost, you're gonna get Redis Caching with Relay, and again, that has a monthly cost that's not going to cost you monthly because that's gonna be bundled inside of your plan. Now, when it comes to support, and I think this is where a managed hosting really shines, is that these guys are providing 24-7, 365 days a year support. So that's a big plus for this hosting plan. So you'll get expertise at your service, fast response times. These guys have a 45 second response time, 45 seconds or less, all right? They're always available, top customer satisfaction, the monitoring and free migration. So that means that if you have a WordPress site somewhere else that you're just sick of them because they don't provide support, these guys will bring it in for you with zero downtime and for free, all right? So take advantage of that. And then you have the security features, big security features here on managed hosting. You get a free SSL, advanced DDoS protection, web application firewall, bot protection, vulnerability detection, virtual patching, and practically everything you're gonna need to keep your website safe. Alongside, again, with their support that they're gonna help you, all right? Now, Rapid Cloud claims zero downtime. So not 99.9%, .9%, they claim zero downtime. So that's a big plus for your site, okay? So do consider that when you're gonna grab this plan. That is definitely worth it if you are looking for a hassle-free launch of a WordPress site and keeping it live, keeping it uh, security uh, tight, and all that's gonna be included here on Rapid Cloud, right? Okay, so let's jump over to our backend here on Rapid Cloud. This is my main panel, and this is where we're going to get started. You got two options create your first website or migrate an existing website. Now remember, you can do a request migration and that's going to be free. So take advantage of that if you have a site somewhere else that you got, you're sick of them, right? So bring it inside of Rapid Cloud. Okay, we're gonna get started with a brand new site. So I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna select a plan that I've purchased already and I can go ahead and purchase a new one if I like. Let's go ahead and select my plan. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna give my name and I'm just gonna say test site for this purpose. And then I'm gonna use a subdomain right now. I can later change it to a custom domain. So it could be mycompany.com, .net, .org, or whatever you wanna use, right? So I'm gonna name this test site. Let's see if it's available. Yes, it is, all right? The location, I would recommend that you select the location where the most viewers of your website or clients are going to view your site. That means that if you have a US based company, I would highly recommend that you select one of these two. And if it's in Europe zone, then select this one. I'm going to use West because that's where I'm in. So I would recommend that one in this case. And that's where more, most viewers are going to view this site. Okay, then we have the PHP version. You got 8.3, 8.2, 8.1. I would recommend the latest one, which is 8.3. But if you have a plugin or something, a theme that you need to install that is not compatible with this PHP version, then consider these, right? But I would highly recommend that you grab the newest one, all right? And then we can also have WooCommerce installed on this WordPress site automatically. In this case, I'm gonna do it. That means that if I'm gonna launch a store on my WordPress site, then it's gonna install WooCommerce, which is a good idea to just get it installed right now, right? So let's go ahead and add the site. 
Okay, our website is now ready. It took around five minutes to install, but that's because it installed Monarch Security, Komodo, Redis, Cache, and a whole lot more bundled into this installation, all to make it fast and secure, right? So now I am now able to jump into the backend of my WordPress site by clicking on WP Admin. And let's do that first before we jump into the back end of Rapid Cloud's dashboard. Okay, so let's get a few seconds to automatically log into the back end. Okay, here we go. We are now inside of this WordPress site. We now have a live website. So if I go to the front end of this website, here it is. Here's the installation. And that was installed really quickly using Rapid Cloud. So what we have to do now is just update some plugins, install a theme. But before I do that, let me show you the back end of Rapid Cloud. Okay. So in Rapid Cloud, we have our sites available here. So you'll see them listed. And in this case, let me jump into my test site and we'll view all the stats available for this particular website. Okay. So we got our stats for the traffic, the CPU usage, the RAM, local storage, and the backup storage, plus where it's installed and our IP address that we might need later on to in connect our custom domain. Okay. So we have our WordPress details here to know the WordPress version. If we want to activate WP debug, the WooCommerce settings. So again, we have a few settings here, the themes that we're able to view here. Now, these are the installed themes on that WordPress site, and we'll be able to update them from here without having to jump inside of the backend of the actual WordPress site. We'll be able to update and roll back if that is needed, right? All right. And same thing goes with plugins. We'll view all the plugins installed on the WordPress site. We're able to update from here and we're able to roll back from here too, okay? So these are really great options that are really intended to make your site really safe. That means that if we update a plugin on our WordPress site and something messes up and we can't log into the WordPress site, well, we could just go here and roll it back from here. So it's a great way to do it, all right? Then we have our stats available. Here we go really quickly. Uh, backups, you're able to backup right here, create your backup. Let's go ahead and do so right now. So I'll say this is initial backup, all right? Download this backup immediately. No, we just want to create it. So this will create the backup right now with this site that just launched. And this is just for testing purposes, all right? But you'll have those tools available ready for you to do backups, right? And then we have settings to connect our domain. Remember, right now we are using a subdomain from Rapid Cloud that generates it for us, but we're able to add our own custom domain, the server settings. So right here, we're able to change server settings in case that is needed for a particular plugin that might needs it. So we have Linux server, Lightspeed, MariaDB, Redis, PHP workers, and Elasticsearch, all that available there. We got our logs, file access, and a whole lot more. Everything bundled inside of here of Rapid Cloud, right? Okay, so let's jump over to our WordPress site. As I mentioned before, we now have a live website, but what I want to do right now is install a theme that we can start using right now. So we'll search for a free theme right here. And in theme, I'm going to be here in the popular one, and I'm going to choose Astra for this. These guys have fast loading websites, and I really like the builder that they have, okay? So let's go ahead and activate this. All right, and we want to get started with a classic templates, but you have options with AI and I want to use Elementor for this. So it will probably ask me to install Elementor to get this going. All right. Okay. So let's choose one of these themes and I'll go ahead and select this one for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and continue with the pre-selected ones. I can select these features if that's what I need. Let's go ahead and continue and give me a few seconds to register here and let's continue. All right. So now it's going to install a template that I can start using right away for my website. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, our website is now ready. Let's go ahead and view our website. Here we go. We now have a live website with a nice looking template, and I'm going to copy this link really quickly. Let's go to incognito mode to load it once because that's going to make Rapid Cloud load in the cache, CDN, and everything that's going to make this website really fast, right? And we're going to do some speed test because Rapid Cloud is fast. Okay, so if you go over to features, go to performance, we'll be able to view some stats of how good Rapid Cloud is. And they are compared to top competitors out there. See here? And they're actually competing really, really well to these guys, even better. So check them out, test them out for yourself, right? Okay, so let's go into GT metrics to run a test. And we are going to run this test twice. Why? Because the first time might not kick in the file loading fast, but then again, it'll do it really fast. So let's do a few tests here. Okay, here we go. We just got the results and I'm actually surprised how fast this was even on the first try. So we got an A score, 100% performance, 97% structure, 
100, 450 milliseconds load time. So that's less than half a second. So that's fast, right? Let me show you the waterfall really quickly. Here we go for the loading of the files. There we go. And let's go ahead and retest it again. See if it drops even more. All right. So let's get a few seconds. Nice. So less than half a second again, 440 milliseconds to load the website. So you're going to have a really low bounce rate because your clients or viewers are going to view your website instantly. All right. So again, do consider Rapid Cloud if you want to check them out. Link we provided in the description and take advantage of their sale that's going on. So information on the description. And that's a wrap.